All right, let's mess up this Gendai. Just get hit to start off. I forget that he has that counter attack. There we go. Ah. <laughs> That's too risky. <laughs> Alright, that didn't go as well as I wanted it to. I need to play way more patiently. the second time I've almost gotten hit by that because I just can't stop mashing. Bad reflexes. <laughs> again, I did it again, literally right after I talked about it. Yikes, it's embarrassing. for at that time because I'm smart okay maybe not too smart every time muscle memory <laughs> well, at least we picked up the experience. I'm actually really close to another skill point, so I should probably go, like, fight a few guys. Oh, I can't, though. Dang. We'll snag that. That might actually be useful here.
Take unrelenting pull, I guess. Could be useful. Ready to go. I think we'll be able to get it so that we just genuinely don't get hit in that first cycle. The first cycle seems scary, but it doesn't actually seem that hard. It's just a matter of playing really patiently and like not doing dumb stuff. the first deflect. I did it again. Oh, got a parry. Nice. If we can deflect that second one, we can always get away safely, so I need to remember that. Ooh, uh, see, that's dangerous. Shot him. <laughs> oh, come on. Timing on that is hard. His health regenerates. He is millennia. is bad. Alright, I managed to do it. I managed to get him down to like, I don't know, a quarter of his health? So as long as we don't play sloppy, we might be able to do this. Knowing that he regenerates is terrifying. That's really awful. <laughs> a 
Kennel says, I am Ravis, Flail of Dagon. Trying to live my life. Alright, well, that wasn't as bad as it could be. Stim, so we should be possibly okay now. As long as we don't beef it. You have to wait for the counter swing there. Ah, my timing was bad. That's my number one tip for people who struggle with the combat in like Souls games and Sekiro is count your strikes. I think this is the I think this is the time we're gonna get it. Come on, dude. Oh god. Look at that. One, two, three, four. I command more. More combat. Get out. Bye, dude. Get beat. I yield. Ooh. That's a good fight. That was a good fight. I was into that. Where is the compass? 
Centauri Kree's observatory. As Dagon suspected. I have opened the way. He goes there now. I defeated you. Fight with me. We can take on Dagon together. Ooh. My heart's beating quickly. <laughs> I will not, Jedi. After all these centuries, I still dream of Tantalor. I had hoped to see it again, but... Oh, that is not to be. Miss Dagon Gera stands in your way. You don't have to do this. Only one of you will reach Tantalor. Jedi, give me my warriors to... This is the way. A warrior's death. Ravis tells Cal how he came to be captured, imprisoned, and imprisoned by the Jedi hundreds of years ago. The memory is a bitter one, as the Gendai Code dictates honor from battle and an oath of service if defeated. Though Cal attempts to convince Ravis to join his cause, Ravis is tired of servitude. He demands a warrior's death and receives it. That was a good fight. <laughs> oh, that one, it's got me a little sweaty. I'm, I'm real into it. <laughs> High Republic Moon Laboratory. In the deepest section of the facility on Kobo's moon was an experimental laboratory. Within, samples of Kobo matter were manipulated and experimented upon in an effort to discover what the unique material was capable of. At the heart of the facility was Santari Kree's personal laboratory. Ooh, man. What a fight. It's been a while since I've had a, a game give me a boss fight that exciting. I'm gonna bring the manus in now. Copy that. We'll be waiting for you, kid. Maybe Ravis was right. Dagon abandoned the Jedi code. Now look at him. Consumed by his obsession with Tantalor. How's that different from what we're doing? Yeah. Don't worry about it. Thanks for having my back. How do I get back? I don't remember. <laughs> Kettle says, I love the fight design in this game. It makes me want to chase the high and try Sekiro. Kettle, you haven't played Sekiro yet? <laughs> what, is, what, are you, what are you doing, buddy? You got to get on that. That's a good one. That's a certified good game. Who's got the raccoon seal of approval, man? Kettle says, I only just played Bloodborne. Uh, Dark Souls 1, 2, 3 is next on my list. Gotcha. Well, you you have a lot of really enjoyable stuff ahead of you. <laughs> Work shopping. <laughs> Whatever you did up there, sure kicked the firebug nest. Ravis is gone. Yeah, that'll do it. So let me guess. Back to Kobo? Yeah, I think so. Say, uh, 
Jetpack, give me a hand up here. Yeah. Don't tell Grease, but he's right about this moon. Creepy. Not now. I need some time to think. Another time, Cal. <laughs> All right. The cutscene ends like we're going to be ferried back to Kobo, but I forget Selects, the game needs maybe. us to still select <laughs> to go back there. <laughs> That's kind of goofy. Headed to Kobo's finest watering hole. Marin looks so much like Stephanie. It's like actually kind of alarming. <laughs> I'm just noticing that. That's really alarming. Hmm. I guess for those who are not uh, familiar with the stream and those, I guess, new to the VODs, if you're watching this on YouTube, Stephanie is Keith's co-host on their Echo and Adastra uh, Let's Plays. So uh, she's a good friend, good friend of mine. Very, very good person. But Marin looks remarkably like her. You're brooding. Again. That easy to read my mind? It's no Jedi trick. Just pay attention. On the shattered moon, I saw Dagen confront Centauri. So consumed by Tantalor that he completely lost his wife. Reminds me of my fight with the Empire these last few years. Let's just say I don't want to end up like him. You are very stubborn, but ambition does not drive you. I like how he's cleaning his gun. <laughs> what a manly hobby. I still don't understand why she didn't see the change in him before it was too late. We dreamed together. We suffered together. A shared dream is not so easy to wake from. Is that what troubles you? Losing yourself. Do you ever stray from your path? We will guide you back. Doubt. After defeating Ravis, Cal wonders about what code he follows now that the Jedi Order is gone. He worries that he could lose himself to obsession. Marin assures him that he should stray from his path. Should he stray from his path, his family will bring him back. God, they're gonna have incredibly beautiful children. <laughs> The Bedlam Raider Code. The Bedlam Raiders are led by Ravis, a Gendai warrior who imparted upon them his strict warrior's code. At its core, the code promotes the quest for freedom, won through ever greater power, in that death is preferable to subjugation. Although many of the Raiders themselves do not adhere to all the code's principles, it is nevertheless a binding force that keeps Ravis as a regular army unified. Oh, da! shoot, we forgot to fight the bounty hunter on the moon. Uh, do I care enough about that to go back right now? I don't know. Probably not. Let's finish up some more stuff here before we go back to the moon. Oh, we got a death ray in this. We got two death rays in the sky. Great. Wonderful. <laughs> Raf says, don't worry, Cal. Uh, if you stray for your path, uh, from your path, I'll kill you myself. <laughs> 
You know Marin would do it too. Can I open this? Nope. Alright, we want to go over here. I want to go into this facility area. How the, how the fuck do I get in there? Okay. Oh, it's day again! I just noticed because we can actually see stuff! This is great. Good for us. Um, oh, I'm, uh, I'm stupid. I need to go this way. I overshot the entrance a little bit. It's over here. So I want to see if we can do this puzzle yet, because I, I don't know if we can. But I would like to, if it's possible. Hey, wait a second. Is this where I think it is? Yes, it is. Okay. Alright, so this is exactly where we want to be. Alignment Control Center. Now we can go through here. Right? Isn't that what that just said? Oh, no. All right, now what is what does this do? What are we doing? That door was not there before, was it? Huh. How do we interact with this? Do we need to do things? Nope. Do I need to wait for it to perfectly hit the center? I don't know what just made it so that I could press it. That was weird. So there's two there now. Interact, interact, interact. How do we how do we do this? What is this wanting us to do? Okay. I don't think we can do anything with that yet. Let's go back to Pyloons and see if there's any new rumors for us, I guess. It might be a good start. Oh. So only oh, there one of these is red. What does this mean? What what are these? Does any do, do the pictures matter? It looks like they're all different places. Wait, is that a meditation chamber? This this looks like a meditation chamber. What is this? Is that the one near the the forest? Huh. I'm not sure about that, but I mean, I guess it's a start to try to figure some of this stuff out. Uh, what is here? Oh yes, uh, we wanted Let's to stop. go check out the shack. So we will go over to the Funky Caverns, because this is where this is where that thingy is, if I remember correctly. There's also a ton of enemies in here. And I'm still amped up from that boss fight. That boss fight slapped. I was super into that. <laughs> Alright, um yes, down here. 
Just, I think we just raise this up. Alright, what's this do? Zoom. Oh. Alright. Well. Alright, can't get up there. Can't do that. But can enter this cave system, I guess. Not too sturdy. This stuff is everywhere. I don't like the look of it. Cavern fungus. A mysterious fungus that gives off a peculiar acidic odor. The gross can be found throughout the cave network, though little else about careful. their behavior is known. Okay. Interesting. Oh! What is that? Acid? Let's keep her distance. Huh. Cave puzzle. You will scour this place for anything of note. If anyone tries to interfere, crush them. Gendai plots. Radius ordered the raiders to occupy the cave network. He believed, through instinct if nothing else, that the place held some information as to his missing master's whereabouts. Oh, so this this is from the time period that he didn't know where Dagon was. Man, those B1 units is, uh, are, are little babies. All right. Uh, what does that do for us? Which way do we want to go down? I guess this way, because we can always come back up. Got something? What is it, buddy? Raider Depot. What was once a Republic facility underneath the planet's surface has now, like so many things on Kobo, been overrun by the Raiders. A depot of droid parts, weaponry, and supplies is proof of Raider incursion into the caverns. Can you even believe these little turrets thinking they can get a drop on me? I don't think so. Mm -mm. Whoa, we got the new bomber colors. Heck yeah. Been waiting for those. All right. What is this place? Uh, that's a rancor. Can I get a stim BD? I really needed that. All right. All right, just as hard as the last one too. Swing at me. <laughs> All right, we just got to play it safe. Oh, can we gimmick it right here? Looks like we might be able to. Come here, Ranky. It was him, it was he that gimmicked me. Oh no. All right, well, there's a Rancor down here. We gotta, <laughs> we gotta play a little bit safer than that. Uh, oh boy, we have to run a long way to get, we haven't, we don't even have a bonfire down here, dang. All right, um, unless there was one I just missed completely. Wee! oh no. Don't teach me. Oh, you know what? I see this. I see what we're supposed to do. Ah! No, I don't want to do that. I want to... 
grab one of these things, toss this up here. Right? Will that blow that up? I think it will, I just need to get it aimed right. Look at that, alright. Look at that, alright, now... You look familiar. <laughs> Alright, so there's a bunch of raiders locked down here, I guess we have to fight. Nice, got three skill points. What does this do? Okay, that just brings us back there. Hey, buddy. Oh, come on, get out of here. I need help. <laughs> I even got a parry on that. Dang. Later, girl. All right. Good job. Cave Turbo Lift Network. The cavern is linked by a network of turbo lifts that allow rapid passage from one section to another. They appear to be either inoperable or controlled at a remote source. Look at that. So many goodies. Duelist emitter. Interesting. I like that. Are we gonna get a curved saber hill? That would be sick. Curved sabers are so cool. Okay, so that was the only way to progress down there. Got it. Okay, no, there's just this is just a dead end. Got it. Got it. Okay. Alright, I know what we're working with now. Here we can just. Oh no! Almost fell to my death. Let's take him out. That's the one move you need to look out for, is overhead slam. Closer. Come here. Come on, baby. Daddy Cal loves you. Uh huh.
okay. Talk to me, one BD. That was bad. <laughs> Rancor down. Second try, not too bad. Nice. Uh, the Rancor, really? They're going all out. <laughs> Kettle says this arena is funny. I was just using one of three locations he could out. get stuck. That's goofy. What's that? All Find right. something, buddy. Rancor prey. Although it remains a mystery if the raiders somehow lured this rancor to the cave, or if it had been here a long time, it's clear the beast was nonetheless provided with a stable diet of victims. I want a stable diet of victims. We have to get back to warn the others. I don't think we're making it back. <laughs> Cave too far. Two prospectors, despite the odds, made it deep into the cave networks. However, they find themselves trapped and lament that this may be their end. It was. Look at this little Langolier-looking dude. All right. Time to deal with you. A yellow lightsaber. A man of taste. Or maybe a woman? I'm not sure. Guard saver very quickly. <laughs> he is not using, he does not wield this well. They stopped you. Prince Patron, boss defeated. We're all the way down here trying to reach through the stars. We all must do our part, Padawan, no matter our place. I suppose. Yeah, the patient Jedi sounds so much like Rosario Dawson. <laughs> Two Jedi, a knight and a Padawan, discuss their circumstances. The Padawan expressed a grim amusement at seeming so far from their purpose only to be chided by her master. Oh, Duelist Switch. That is a cool looking lightsaber switch. Dang. That's cool. Alright. Uh this way. Stim here. Man, I have I'm very low on stem. Where to net? I guess down here. Oh fuck. Oh! Whoa! Ah! Alright, that was a little messy, but we did it. We made it through just fine. Throw me Stimby. Scuva! My boy! How'd you get in here, man? Scuva, hey. What's waiting beneath the surface this time? These strange climbs have a most mysterious resident. The Vesset Lucker. There they love to nestle into the cozier reaches of the sea. But they'll need too cozy for Scuva's death. Nice, I think. <laughs> yeah, Scuba. Get it. Get some fish. Data bank. The Visid Lurker. Oh, it's a jellyfish. The Visid Lurker dwells in the dark places of Kobo, shying away from natural light when it can help it, and feeding on the waterborne mites and krill that are only found in sunless places. 
dangerous by nature, their tendrils emit a sharp electrical shock, enough to sting a grown species, but entirely lethal to those lurker considers its prey. right to me. Could I interest you in a, a tale? So there I was, deep in the Garakas trench, one yet's harpoon drilled through me paunch, watching the lights fade from my own eyes. The dread captain peeled his whiskers from his teeth and grinned a most ghastly grin, when suddenly I saw the glumbling eels a swirl. It seemed that, in the midst of my distraction, they'd taken flight. It dawned on me. I recalled to me mind the great meeting call of the eels. My last hope. So, rousing my final gasp of air, I sounded their shrill cry. What happened? <laughs> Glumbrig Eels. Scuva tracked Captain Wet to the oceanic third moon of Antine. In a final duel, he defeated his nemesis by exciting a worm of Glumbrig e Eels, but not before Wet speared Scuva through the chest with a harpoon. I mean, Scuva's like basically a slug, right? Like, I mean, that shouldn't kill him. He should be fine. I should have looked at my map, but that's fine. What's down here? Duelist Pommel. Okay, that's cool. I like that. Let's look at the map real quick, see where else we can go in these caves. Alright, I see. I see where we go now. How are you still alive? I did that on purpose. I wanted to get my, uh, I wanted to get my Estus back. Ten Estus now. We can start over. Oop. Much better, much better start. So this is what we do. Oh, that didn't kill all of them. That's depressing. <laughs> okay, well. Where are my experience points? Nice throw, BD. My experience points are probably on the floor over there. Could use some help, buddy. There we go. Grab those back. Don't want to lose all that. We can just run over here. Look at that. We're making progress. We're having fun. This is a good time. No. Oh, a 
data disk. There we go. Oh god, it has a headless attack, I forget. Every single time. <laughs> yeah, we made it work though, that's fine. The public must have used this to reach the surface. Well, I don't think they fell through a hole in the roof every time, buddy. <laughs> Got another skill point. We're closer to maximizing more skill trees. Uh, that was a blind jump. I had no idea this wall was here. Slicing Magna Guards. All right, that's sick. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. See that? Let's get this data disk back to Z. I wonder if these started growing after the Republic. Either way. Dead Jedi. The body of a Jedi long dead who presumably conducted research within the caverns. Their body indicates they were killed by massive trauma from someone much larger than them. For us. I wonder who the much larger someone was. What was that? Oh no. Gravis, of course. You've been here a long time. The body of a Jedi Knight brutally ambushed by some unknown force before the beings unceremoniously discarded in the bowels of the cave. What the? There we go. Look at this amateur. Let's go, BD one. Correct. Er Jeff Major. All you, BD. All right, we need to be able to go back up. Uh, because I did not explore everything up there, and I need to be able to do that. <laughs> Just to make sure. Where is he? Where ah. is Dagon Gera? I don't know. We couldn't find him. But he murdered Jedi. He must answer for his crimes. I understand. You're following your code, and I am following mine. I owe him everything. But you, you, I owe nothing. Oh, brutal. So yeah, Ravis deliberately sought Dagon Gera out. Interesting. Ravis, loyal lieutenant of Dagon, scours Kobo in search of his missing master. Any Jedi he encounters are potential informants and inevitable victims. There we go. They were studying the growths here, as well as more research on Kobo Manor. They really felt. Republic control room. From this control room, the Republic Jedi and scientists stationed here conducted their monitoring of the planet's activity while also gathering samples from the caverns this whole themselves. Fascinating. I hated having to leave it all behind. Come on. Map upgrade chests. Ooh. 
All chests are on the map now. That's cool. Uh, so we want to go, what is it, up, I think? Oh, no, this is where we want to be in. We can break pots? Yay, it's like Legend of Zelda. Cal's a menace to society. I'm gonna break all of them. Bruce says break all the pots for party favors. Okay. I bet Z can get the data off this disc. Oh, more data discs. Neat. Okay. Would be easier if the pots weren't so bizarre. Like some of them break, some of them don't want, like to. <laughs> I need to break in here though before we move forward. Hitboxes on these weapons are so precise. <laughs> it's actually kind of shocking. Come on, break more easily. Some of them just don't want to break. I think we got all of them, probably. There's that one. That one. Yeah, I think we got everything. Neat. I'm sure Z can decrypt this for us. All right, so we got a, quite a few of those. I need to find a way to blow that up. Ooh. Let's get this data disk back to Z. Another data disk, okay. I just grab one of these somewhere. Are there any around? Where are they? Come on. Oh, you can slow this? What? I had no idea you could slow the roll of the uh of BD1's grapple. Like Not that's crazy. So Alright, how do I how do I get a bomb for in here? I'm gonna need to figure that out. Um, hmm. Do I just have to go up and then ride it down? Bruce says there are three data disks total to get from there. Yeah, we got all three. We're good. Yes, the answer is definitely we have to take one down. Okay. And then there's one more little, uh, like, elevator, like, door or something for us to play around in. We'll go do that real quick. figure it out perhaps there's something in the satellite laboratory that could help us analyze it scientific frizzen two republic scientists have grown excited by the discoveries they've made in the caverns but cannot further analyze them without additional investigative equipment located elsewhere oh the duelist grip looks cool <laughs> we're definitely gonna play with that There's this way to go now, right? Oh, I've already fought this guy. Yeah. Interesting. I know where we are. Oh, we're out. Yeah, we're out of here. We got everything, I think. I mean, we can we can check on our map real quick, but I think we got everything. Mm 
Yep, got everything except this one door I can't open, I guess. Neat. Where is this? I mean, I know where this is, but I don't remember what this area actually is. Come on, Cal, kick those little those little footies. Oh, we're in the the Pyloon tunnels. Got it. Okay. Well, that's actually super convenient for me. All right. Okie dokie, time to go bonfire. So yeah, we just got a huge upgrade. Tells us where all the chests are? Dang. And we have new characters and conversations. Nice.